Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Like the Constantine video I made, this is something I've wanted to cover since I made this channel. The Reavers from the show Firefly. This is one of my favorite shows. It was created by the extremely talented Joss Whedon, who also created Buffy the Vampire Slayer and has written on such films as Toy Story, Avengers, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Cabin in the Woods, and many more. Firefly is a space western with sci-fi, drama, and even horror elements. It came out in September 2002, and the show was liked by fans and critics, but it was cancelled before the first season was finished. This came as a shock to many people because the ratings were good and fans were excited about season 2. Turns out the reason it was cancelled was because of arguments and production errors. The network aired the episodes out of order, starting with the second episode and airing the pilot last. On top of that, they wanted to change the show and Joss Whedon wasn't having it. The show only got to air 11 of its 14 episode season, so Joss Whedon began making the show into a movie, and with the help from Universal, we got Serenity, which is basically the best season finale ever. And in this film is actually where Joss Whedon explored the creation of the Reavers. Neil Patrick Harris auditioned for the role of Simon, but didn't get the role, but did appear as a Reaver. You can also see a lot of the actors that were in Joss Whedon's show Buffy the Vampire Slayer also appear in Firefly. There is apparently a reboot in the works that will be coming out exclusively on Disney+. Plus. I really hope they do something awesome with this franchise. If you enjoy videos like this, leave a like, and maybe subscribe, I really appreciate it. Now I'm going to start with a brief history of the Earth in this universe. Earth that was couldn't handle the growing population, but civilization managed to develop technology that allowed them to travel through space and colonize a new solar system. The first generations that boarded the ships off the Earth never seen the outside of a spaceship, but they have come a long way since then. The planets took decades to terraform, and the central planets formed the Alliance, a kind of government. The central planets are the most controlled and look the most modern. They have top-notch medical care and resources, unlike the outer planets. The outer planets refused Alliance control, and the war that followed was devastating leaving the outer planets to be a wasteland compared to the central planets. Now the outer planets is where outlaws, people unable to find work, and people not fortunate enough to afford the lavish life on the central planets live. Some people like it, as the outer planets are not under such strict rules and policing like the central planets, but this leads to crime and murder. On this planet, miners work where the conditions are so unhealthy, they all develop a medical condition that requires a special medicine, or they die. But the right amount of medicine rarely makes it out to their planet, because it usually gets stolen. This is the life of living on the outer planets, constantly dealing with bandits and thieves. Now, let's talk about the Reavers. People on the central planet speak of Reavers like the Boogeyman. Many people believe they're only a made-up story to scare people, but not for the people that live beyond the protection of the Alliance. To them, Reavers are very real, and the worst nightmare you could possibly imagine. Some of the descriptions of what Reavers do to people are horrifying. This is a quote from Zoe, talking about the Reavers. They will force themselves on us until death, eat our flesh, and sew our skin to their clothing. And if we're very, very lucky, they'll do it in that order. Reavers occupy no planet and instead live in their ships full-time in a giant fleet. They fly around attacking ships and settlements, living purely off the flesh of humans. But there's one catch. The humans they take must be alive, to the point that if the person dies, they'll leave the body behind like it's no good. Let's find out how the Reavers were created. The common story told about Reavers is that they were men. Men that stared into the black oblivion at the edge of space for so long, it drove them insane. Broke their mind. Some even question if Reavers are really human. Captain Reynolds says, they stared into the nothing of space until that's what they became. Later in the Serenity movie, we find out what really happened though. In a distant solar system, on one of the outermost planets called Miranda, the Alliance was planning on testing a drug to modify behavior. The drug was called G23 Paxilon Hydrochlorate. 
It was introduced through the air processors and it was supposed to reduce anger and violence. The result was not quite what they expected. 99.9% .9 of the population did stop fighting. And then they stopped doing everything else. Working, moving, eating, and eventually breathing. So obviously they died. 30 million people literally just laid down right where they were and gave up. But for that 0.1%, the drug had a very different effect. Instead of getting rid of their aggression and violence, it drove it to unthinkable levels, filling them with primal rage and sadistic tendencies. A woman is describing the events on the planet and said the packs drove them beyond madness. It made them do things. Suddenly they break through an attacker. The first Reavers were created through an experiment gone wrong, but people can be turned into Reavers without the use of the G23 drug. When Reavers raid a ship, they sometimes force one person to watch them commit their terrible acts of torture and cannibalism and then leave them alive. These people are almost always driven insane by the things they witness and become Reavers themselves. This man was found on a ship that had been raided by Reavers and he was in shock. He kept repeating, they are weak, no mercy, no resistance, cattle, cattle for the slaughter, open up, see what's inside. Later, Captain Reynolds says this about that man. They made him watch. He probably tried to turn away, but they wouldn't let him. You call him a survivor? He's not. A man comes up against that kind of will. The only way to deal with it, I suspect, is to become it. He's following the only course left to him. First, he'll try to make himself look like one, cut on himself, desecrate his flesh, and then he'll start acting like one. Some people speculate that Reavers might be able to somehow detect the 0.1% of people that can become Reavers, and those are the ones they leave alive, although it's not proven. If Reavers are just really aggressive humans, then why do they look like this? Well, when someone becomes a Reaver, they start to mutilate themselves for some reason, possibly out of anger or just for fun. They are often seen with new and old cuts all over, as well as large piercings and bits of metal shoved in their skin. Reavers often fly in outdated ships, outfitted with an array of offensive upgrades, like a magnet grappler to trap ships, EMPs, and more. One of their ships is referred to as a crab ship because it has large claws to grasp a ship. Reavers also remove the containment around the nuclear core of their ships, which allows it to travel faster since they like to run down their enemies and capture them. But this also means the Reavers on these ships are constantly exposed to lethal levels of radiation, which also might contribute to how they look and why they make clothing from their victims. Their ships usually have DIY repairs and are decorated with skeletons and tribal-like decorations. Although Reavers can coordinate attacks, they're not capable of speech at all. They seem to broadcast a constant stream of feral screaming and howling from their ships. It's not clear if this is to intimidate or communicate with other Reavers, or if it's the screams of the Reavers themselves or their victims. Like I said before, Reavers don't call any planet home. Instead, they live somewhere called Reaver Space, located above the planet Miranda, where they were created. Hundreds of ships gathered in a large fleet, and there's more out there. Reavers deploy ships to raid cargo vessels and other non-military ships in unprotected settlements on planets. Reavers are definitely insane, no question about it. But how much of their former self do they retain? Do they keep any skills or memories, or is that wiped clean? It's not 100% clear, but evidence points to the fact that they are a completely different person. They cannot speak and seem pretty barbaric, but they have been seen setting up elaborate traps and raiding a settlement with high coordination. They also manage to fly and for the most part maintain the ships that they live in, adding weapons and decorations to them as well. So they still have some level of intelligence, maybe some more than others. It's unknown if Reavers plan on which planets to raid, but they are slowly working further away from Reaver space, expanding their territory. They are seen using guns, but seem to prefer close combat, 
bludgeoning victims to death, probably due to their feral mental state. Reavers have also been seen using poisoned weapons. If they have no weapon, their teeth and bare hands will do just fine. Reavers are extremely tough opponents. They're not any stronger or more resilient than a normal human. However, they may seem stronger since they're in a constant feral state of anger and rage that could flood their body with adrenaline, making them seem stronger. They also have the ability to completely ignore pain. You have to pretty much kill a reaver to stop it from trying to attack. Even after being shot multiple times, as long as it can still move, it will keep coming. It's like physical pain doesn't affect them, as seen by how they mutilate themselves. The Reavers have had one battle with an actual military power, the Alliance. During this battle, the Reavers suffered massive casualties since they do not have the organization or level of intelligence the Alliance does. This is why they usually stick to easy targets like cargo vessels and small settlements on the outer planets. Attacking a central planet would surely be a death sentence. Although Reavers suffered a defeat at the end of Serenity, they're still out there and they will keep creating more. Once Pandora's box has been opened, it's hard to close it. Take my love, take my land, take me That's my video on the Reavers from Firefly. This is such a unique show and I really wish it would have gone on for more than one season. But I'm glad we got the Serenity movie to resolve some of the unfinished plots. I hope if they do a reboot, it's faithful to the original and is still as R-rated. If you haven't seen this show, it's one of my highest recommendations. Just make sure you watch the episodes in the right order, because even some of the sites have them up in the wrong order, like how they were broadcasted. If there's any other movies or TV shows you want me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks to your comments, I found this show and many others that have become my favorites, so thank you. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and maybe subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.